take our milk and stuff out this morning. I appreciate you guys letting me take a day off on Monday. Just really with spring break. I wanted to take a day to just not edit and film and I filmed Saturday and morning and just never. Good morning, Dottie. Went back. I came outside and, and did some things, but I just didn't want to do it. because I wanted just a little bit of time away. But since we're milking everybody this morning, definitely needed to film. And I'm sure these little babies are very frustrated with life. <laughs> if not, the feet are off. See all four of you, you're still here. All right, get everything set up. It's a little chilly out here this morning. Yeah, not too bad. Hello. Hello, mama goats. Is everybody ready to be milked? So I'm gonna get everything set up and get going as quick as I can. Everybody that's supposed to come in, came in. Baby, go freedom time. I'm coming to get him. All right, littles, come on out. Not that anybody can see anything. Because every mama goat needs to go, every single goat needed to go in here. Patty, you can go get him. Yeah, that's not your mom. Here we go, let's see, toot toot. There's toot toot's mom. Man. Oh, we've got one. Coffee's down here. All right. There goes Milo. Success. Oh, and Coco. Yeah, you have plenty of milk left. Plenty of milk. We just had a sip, now she's moved on. And what this will help too is because we have so many singles, one side of the udder, they'll have to kind of work both sides now because we've emptied them quite a bit. It takes about 20 minutes to milk those four girls. And it'll get faster the longer we go and we'll get more milk. We got a little less than half a gallon today, but with Patty, I didn't push her and Cece didn't want to be milked this morning. She was kind of throwing a fit and she definitely had more milk to give. Right now we're not totally stripping the girls out because they're still feeding babies. They're also not giving us all their milk. They're saving it for the babies. Hello, friends. Hello, I know. You guys had to wait a really long time this morning.
All right, pork chop. Is it is it breakfast for you guys? Did you guys have to wait just too long this morning? Did you have to wait too long? Over to the other farm today. A lot of you guys have been asking about a calf update. We actually had our very last calf a couple of days ago. So hopefully I'll take my camera and get you guys an update. Come on goats! Come on goats! Come on! Freedom! get out and eat some grass this morning. Cece loves to scratch right there. I don't know why. That's her favorite spot. Good morning, littles. Good morning. Good morning, Milo. Good morning, toot toot. Toko's coming. All right, guys. The world is your oyster. All right, we'll see you guys later. little one. She's born this week. She's our last one. Definitely a heifer. Right, I'm gonna be careful because all this activity is going on over here. They all look really good. It's really windy out here today. The wind is blowing and we've got two, two cows in heat so we're having to watch the bulls as we're walking around out here which makes life interesting. Mabel's little baby. He was the one with the big white sock. Still super cute. Everybody's nice and big. We're at the end of hay season for sure. Two more rounds of hay to put out and hopefully get the fence fixed for our nine acres. These guys will be back on grass. It's definitely growing. It's just with feeding hay, it gets worn out. Hi, Mabel. Can we be friends? Can we be friends? Hmm? Yeah? Hi, sweetie girl. Hi, my mini moo. Oh, what's my mini moo? It's a good girl. So that's your 
calf update everybody's been asking lately so our one that was born this week is just on the ground it's great for us it means everybody can go to the sale about the same time i noticed the other day that the girls have a few lice on them not as bad as our outbreak the last year, but we wanna kinda of get ahead of it. I think our hay feeding in the barn contributes to that. So this is the stuff that we use to treat flies, lice, mites, any kind of um, ticks. And you can use it on beef and dairy cattle, horses, sheep, goats, swine, poultry, and dogs. And so you can spray this on the animal or you can spray it on their living quarters. I mix the concentrate for spray directly on the animal and then also spray barns, houses, etc. So we will be spraying all the goats and the pigs in all their houses really quick. Hard thing about the goat is I'll have to run them all in here and lock them in stalls to get them sprayed really well because they obviously don't like being wet. It's totally safe to use with the babies and the mamas. I did notice that Toot Toot has some little nits on her face. Goat lice are specific to them, so they're not lice that like you catch, but this will treat all kind of external parasites. an ivermectin family like ivermectin or cydectin uh, worm rate also helps with lice and mites and all of those things but i've found this is topical so the, the goat doesn't absorb this into their skin so i can spray them and continue to milk as long as i wash that udder really good so it's not an internal so i don't i can milk and have some lice and bug control for them hello tammy can we spray you yeah Let's spray the pig. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We need to get her other side. Yeah, let's get this other side. Yeah, and those legs. And that'll get rid of those ticks that are on her. So we'll just spray in here. I love this stuff. It is, like I said, it's topical though. So it washes off. And if you have a really bad infestation, the best thing to do is spray, spray once and then spray again in 14 days. None of these guys are so covered up that they're going to need a second treatment. We're not going to worry about that. pretty good we'll try to get these guys during dinner I got bean pretty good because he went in the house again the boys don't really I've never really had issues with lice or mites or ticks with them the way I do with the girls This is pretty much becoming an all day, every day thing where they get in the backyard. They come right back through. 
but they drive their mamas crazy. Patty, is he not where he's supposed to be? Milo. Hit it, bun. Okay, Arkansas's in NCAA tournament and they're playing right now, but I've got to go feed everybody before it gets dark. Somebody's burning, so I can't tell if it's dark or if it's just hazy. I'm not gonna put the babies up yet. It's only like 7.30 and I do not wanna have to get out here at 7.30 in the morning. But if I put them up at like nine, then I can get out later and I think we're gonna go have ice cream and french fries once the game's over. They're not even all looking for dinner yet because it's still so light outside, but it's time for dinner. It's time for dinner. Come on in. With the big bear out. I bet it's cool enough he's ready to go out for the night. Is it dinner? Food for dudes time. What's well, my favorite boy? It's pork chop. Are you the favorite? Come here, buddy. anxiously awaiting goats to have babies this week. Basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna be a baby watch for the next few days. We're really inside that window where they could have them anytime. Bunny had hers a day early. I've never had one. I've really, honestly, this is the first year I've ever had somebody go early. All right, girls, we'll see you in the morning. Can you guys leave the camera alone, maybe? Arkansas wins and that's a good end to the night.